always done something with my, you know, with my hands. I've always done, I've always made things. When I was a kid, I was nearly always doing something and being quiet on my own, doing it. And when I was a teenager, I was very into embroidery and I used to spend hours, and I mean all day, just sewing. Absolutely in my element. Just get on with it. But I, I do think that is, that is meditation. Um, I think it's done me a lot of good, actually. Um, and because I felt the benefits of drawing, and I, you know, even after nearly 15 years of drawing, it still feels very new to me. Because I hadn't drawn really since, I think I did a bit of drawing for my homeopathy training. Um, but apart from that, I hadn't done anything since I was a kid. And I always liked drawing as a kid, although I was not very good. Um, I always enjoyed it. I used to draw models a lot. You know, that's what, I suppose I was about 12, 11. I used to draw models in fashion clothes and... I used to love that. And of course, it was a time of Twiggy. And everybody was incredibly thin and very elegant looking. We had this kind of pop art thing going on as well. It was lovely. Um, what I've been surprised at, drawing like this, right, I've done that bit heavier, take it off a little bit, is the fact that I can talk away when I'm drawing. Because I've never done talking away. Whatever I've done, it's always been quiet. Always been very quiet. The fact that I'm talking away while I'm doing this and able to concentrate like this, I think it's because I was just so used to doing stuff. I'm just so used to it. It's not really, don't find it difficult. Uh, but I didn't know until I started doing this whether I'd be able to do this or not. No idea. I just wanted to... I just, I just wanted to show what you can do with drawing and how wonderful it is, really. Just that. Okay, so we've got the basics in there now. Taking a lot of extra pastel off. I'm now going to try and um, add the brown in a bit now. So we'll, we'll go back over here. See, I rectified this to get it the same size as that. And really, I've used the markings that we just put on there to try and hone that in a bit. So we're just gonna put these very thin, got some very thin lines coming across here. Very thin brown. And although it's not quite the right colour, it won't matter, I don't think. Let's let's just see. Because we can go over it with the, the creamy colours, I think. So we'll find out. Yes, yeah, so I've got all my pencils nice and sharp before I started today. Got all the colours ready. So very, very good, very organised. I need to put a bit more cream on there, I think. Put it in there a bit.
this one now. Good, I think. Okay, mop it up. Right. Now, we're going to need a bit more. Let's have a look. More of a warm look to this now. See, in comparison now, you can see it's looking a bit, it's looking a bit pale, so just try and go over it with this. Um, this is a Caran d'Ache, so the, the pigment is incredibly strong. And actually you can hear, when the pencil's on the paper, whether there's any tooth left in the paper or not. And I can hear it's a bit, it's a bit like a very light sand paper. Can hear it. For those people that just listen to my uh, art, I'll try and crank the sound up a bit so you can hear this. I'll just shut up for a bit. So there, as you can see, the outer area, slight pinkness in the top there. This is quite a nice colour to use this. So this is Caran d'Ache number 052 for those people that are interested. I'll do the other one now, do the other bauble. And I'm, although it's lighter in the top, I'm still going to use this all over. You could see why I needed to sharpen up the pencils, can't you? So it's quite a delicate little job, this. Very light touch, I'm hardly touching the paper. mop it up. Uh, my trousers still look, don't look too bad. I've got to go anywhere in them. These are my house trousers. So, all good. Now, um, because there's a kind of pinkiness in that top, I'm just going to try and put in a little bit of the orange, well, it's orange actually. Yeah, it's orangey pink. I'm just going to try and put a bit of that in with a and put a bit of cream on it because I really want to try and achieve that. It's rather nice. So just a little bit of red in the top. 
I know it doesn't look red, but when we get the cream on it, we'll then end up with that creamy colour, but with a hint of red in. Make sure it's even on both ball balls and then mop it both on both ball balls. Then get your cream. Now again this is Caran d'Ache, it's very strong big one. I'm just gonna go over it very very gently. I'm actually just blending this red into the creamy colour that we put on underneath. That's looking nice. Yeah, it's looking good. It's not exactly the same colours on my picture, but I need to refer to this. Yeah, it's nothing like it in the photo, but it's nice and cheery. So let's not worry about that. You know, there's a lot to be said for just going with, with your instinct on these things. And although you might want to try and copy it exactly, uh, you know, you might go a little bit off, but if you're enjoying it then go for it, you'll, you'll end up with a nice picture, and it'll be like nobody else's, it'll be your picture. Okay, that's good, just going to very, very slightly dab that one, because I quite like the colour of that. And then underneath see what we've got is like a, in the in a really good photo uh what we've got is a kind of greeny beigey color the baubles but in my photo here they're more creamy and i quite i think i prefer this so i'm going to go with that so now i'm going to put the cream on the bottom of the baubles there just the cream no red in this bottom just the cream. Then we can make neat all these bits here. That's quite a nice light cream around the edge. But we've got a nice, nice good strong line around the edge of the bauble there because we've got that green surrounded it by the green. It's nice. Do the other one. This would be very hard if you did one bauble at a time. It'd be very, very difficult to replicate and get the colours right. Because we've used quite a few colours in there already. And now the sun's gone in, this looks a different story. Oh, the sun's coming out again now. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to leave that cream on, I'm not going to dab it off too much. Because we've got a slightly darker edge and I'm going to use the, the colour that I marked out with, with the, all the little lines and reflections on the baubles. I'm going to use the same colour. It's called, it's 746. And um, it's not overly sharp, but I think we're okay. Just put that in there again. Just going over some of the little marks we've already done and the combination of the dark brown and this colour on again is making them quite a nice colour. Gives them a nice strong reflection on them, this, this colour. Now we've got a, a bit of a line along the edge here and I, I'm going to need to do it this way I think. See, it's just a line of colour 
that's very on the bottom um, of the bauble, just coming exactly around. Extremely light touch here, just following around the bauble. It does go all the way around, but it fades off a bit towards the right and it's coming below the other mark on the right that we've put in there. Stronger up here. There. Same on the other one, so do that. Just try and keep my hand out of the midnight blue background. It's going to look fat when it's all finished. Okay. Now, if you can't, if you can't do a fade off of the lines, what you can do is just put me in some other little lines that I can see here now. What you can actually do is just use a, a lighter colour pencil over the end of that line where you want it to fade off. I'll show you. The tricks of the trade. Because, you know, it's not always possible to do a feather-like touch. But you can use your pencils. And get things done for you. I'm just lightening up the brown line that we put on earlier actually while I'm at it. That needs to be a bit lighter now. We need to put a, because this is a good base for putting on kind of rusty colour that it needs on at some point. So this, this is the same colour that's underneath the brown I put on. Just softens it all up a bit again.